Woody and Rizzuto. All right, it's Woody and Riz. And right before the break, we were going into our Valentine's Day segment. We had some other stuff planned, but screw that, buddy. <laughs> Chris called in. Yeah, hold on. Let's get uh, Chris back on the line. Hey, Chris, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. All right, I'm going to recap quickly for everybody who's uh, just tuning in. So Chris called us up, said that he uh, had an initial plan to, to propose to his girlfriend on Sunday, on Valentine's Day. Now, how, how long have you guys been together? Five years. Five years. All right, so she's thoroughly expecting it. Now, he's been hearing from some of her friends. I guess she found the ring at some point. So she's yeah. been going around uh, saying that Telling all her friends. and This is the weekend. This is the he's weekend. He's propose. Right. Doing, you know, just what girls do. They get excited about it when they think it's coming. Well, but, especially uh, on Valentine's Day. Now, here's the thing. Chris also found out that uh, she's been seen out in town with this guy who she's always claimed was her friend. Just a friend. This guy named Eric, right? Yep. Now, I had asked Chris how he knew that there was something actually going on. I mean, having coffee or a meal with somebody is not necessarily cheating, but apparently they were seen making out and doing other things. So, uh that's enough. Hey, whatever. If, if that's if that's your line, like some people go, oh, listen, it's just a kiss. We've been getting, you know, some people on the text saying, oh, it's not a big deal. This guy's freaking out over a kiss. But, I mean, listen, cheating's cheating. Whatever you define in your relationship is cheating. Like, I'd be pissed if my wife was making out. A kiss is enough to set me off with some other dude. So I suggested a drive-by whoring, but apparently he, that's not good enough. No, so Chris, I guess, was going to dump her on Sunday, but then he thought, hey, how can I really crush, crush this bitch's soul? Let's call Woody and Chris. And then maybe I could dump her live on the air. So uh, you just keep in mind, Chris, I do have to let her know that she is live on the air. So, I mean, hopefully this works out and she doesn't get to, you know, I, I think I have an idea on how to keep her on the line so she won't freak out. I can't just say, hey, Chris wants to talk to you. No, well, there are a couple people also texting in with their suggestions yeah, as well. I got ideas. All right, so, Chris, are you ready? Sure. Are you yeah. sure you want to do this? Yes, I'm. You I'm, may be going down a dark path, Chris. Well, I'm just saying five years is a long time. And like you, 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 are you sure you want to dump her? Yeah, I'm positive that I want to dump her. All right. Well, here, hang on. I'm going to – don't say anything, okay? Okay. Uh, we're going to call her right now. Uh, let's see. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, Meow. <clears throat> Got this? Remember, Chris, don't say anything. Hello? Hi, is this Ashley? Yeah, this is Ashley. Ashley, it's Woody and Riz from 1057 The Point. How are you? I'm okay. How are you? How the hell are you? You sound, uh, you sound confused. Are you okay? We're, by the way, before we go any further, we are live on the radio right now. No, we are on the air. Are you uh, are you a listener of their show? You know our show? Um well, I know your show. I can't say I'm a listener. My boyfriend's a big fan of yours, but uh but I I'm not a listener myself. Do you know what I mean? So you don't I hear listen? You. Yeah, well she's a woman. She doesn't listen, yeah, of course. That's true. <laughs> well, she doesn't listen in general and then she doesn't listen to the show. All right, well Ashley, listen, you know, Valentine's Day is on Sunday. And yeah. uh here's the deal. We're doing a segment on the show this morning about the most creative ways to propose to your wife or girlfriend. Now, we had another one of your friends call in. Do you have a friend named Melissa? I do have a friend named Melissa. Melissa called in and told us that you are getting engaged this weekend. Now, how do you know this for sure? I can't, okay, first of all, I can't believe she called and told you that because I told her under strict confidence. But, um, well, I've been with my boyfriend for about five years now. Yeah. and. Uh, well, uh, that's not the only reason. I I kind of stumbled across a ring. All right, so you were snooping. Of course she was. Ring. All right, now that's not important. That's not the reason that we're uh, that we want to talk to you this morning. Gypsies and shysters. Right. I mean, they they all snoop. But here's the thing. That's not the reason we're calling. We're calling because we're doing a segment on the most creative ways to propose. So we figured that if your boyfriend is listening, maybe he can get some ideas on what would be the ultimate proposal. <laughs> like what? Like to you? Like what would be the ultimate proposal? Like not like a scoreboard thing, right? That's kind of you know. Oh no, no. Or, or a ring, or a ring, and a glass of champagne at dinner, or in your dessert, right? No, because then it gets messed up. Like who wants a ring with cake all over it, or mousse, or whatever, right? Right. Um, no, I, I, I have to say that my tastes are pretty simple. Um, I mean, it, I guess it. Like, how would the evening go? Would it be during the day or at night? 
Oh, definitely at night. Definitely right. at night because that's just more romantic. But. Like a down so, on a down on one knee kind of thing. Yeah, how's the evening go? Do you go, to, go you go to dinner first? Like go to a nice dinner, or are you guys just like going to like a favorite kind of hole in the wall Chinese place? I think. I mean, that's not even so much. I think like dinner happens before. Yeah, for sure. But but where isn't maybe as important. I mean, hopefully there's some candlelight and it's like a nice place. But but. I just I, I couldn't bear a public proposal. I don't know why, even though I know I want to be with him forevermore. So you're not into like the get down on one knee thing in front well, of the whole restaurant and everybody claps, but, but not in a public place just because I don't know why. Are you sure? Private. Yeah, Are you sure? I mean, would you say? Let me ask you. Would you say no if it happens? No, this way? no, God, no. But I just I get embarrassed. Like I just that sort of for me is embarrassing. So a, a really beautiful dinner and then. Some moment on the way home or when we're alone together. Ashley? Ashley? Yeah? We have a uh, surprise for you this morning. On the line with us right now is Ashley's boyfriend, Chris. Chris, hey, welcome to the Chris. show. Oh, my God. And uh, Chris has something he would like to ask you. Um, Chris, are you there? I'm here. I'm here. Hey. Oh, my God. Um. Oh my God. Yeah. Uh. Well, Ashley, we we've, we've been together for you know five years now, and uh, I've I've really loved you with all of my heart, and um, you know I dreamed of of spending the rest of my life with you, and I saw kids, I saw a future, um, <laughs> and and I felt that way since the day I met you. Um, <clears throat> I guess I just have have one thing to ask you then. Uh, um, um, how long wait, would it take wait, for you to move a, all of your... I need to take a deep breath here. Can I just have a second <laughs> to take a deep breath? Yeah, please take a deep breath. I'm kind of freaking out. Hey, Ashley, you know you're on the air right now. You're live, right? I know. You told me that. She's okay. getting the vapors. Yeah, and you're, this is a very public thing right now. Are you, are you still okay with it? You just said that you wouldn't want a big public spectacle. Well, you know, I'm gonna take it. I'll take it however it comes. Yeah, she will. Well, why, why don't you just take a deep I, breath? And, uh, Chris? Just take a deep breath here, and, and uh, just let me finish, all right? All right. I, I guess the, the big the big question here that I want to ask you, Ashley, is how long will it take for you to get all your crap out of my house? <laughs> what? Ashley? <clears throat> Ashley, are you there? I, I <clears throat> Is this some kind of joke? No, it's not a joke. How long will it take you? Because you got until Sunday. Ashley, are you there? What is... I don't understand what is going on right now. He's dumping... Really? You don't understand? A Ashley, he's You're dumping you. Hey, hey, why, why don't you answer a few more questions, Ash? Um, so, uh, seen out twice this week, twice with Eric. What's that about? Who's Eric, Ashley? He's a good friend of mine from forever ago. We... Okay, okay, when you say good friend, I, I just want to be really clear here. When you say good friend, does that mean making out in the corner at a bar? Which is pretty which is pretty brazen, you know? You go to a bar and you're cheating with somebody on somebody who you've been with for five years. You would think you would go to like some, some private location. Go to his apartment at least. What I don't My friend know saw you. About. Hello, Ashley. Ashley, you there? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, what do you have to say? So, Eric, I mean, I'm sorry. Ashley, you've never screwed around with this Eric guy. This guy's just your friend. Well, yeah, we're, we're right just... Right there, right there, the hesitation. Yeah. There should be no hesitation. Right. <laughs> Ashley, have you ever done anything that... Let's put it this way. Have you ever done anything with Eric that you wouldn't do right in front of Chris's face? Well, yes or no? I made a couple mistakes. Screw you, Ashley. No. Screw you. Answer the stupid question. I'm answering the stupid question, okay? I said I made a couple mistakes a few months ago, and I've always known that you're the one I want to be with, and I realized it was a mistake, and I stopped it right away. Yeah, you stopped it right away. Is that why last week people saw you? He was trying to to bring that back around again, and I told him that it can't happen because I love uh, you. Hold on. No, wait, hold on. Ashley, so, let me ask you a question. I hear it was happening. Ashley, let me ask you a question. 
So he said it happened like last week that you guys were making out. Did you find the ring and know that Chris was going to propose to you before or after? Like, did you find the ring before or after you were making out with this Eric guy? Before or after? I met with this and tell him that if he You're kept trying to keep You're it disgusting. going, I could never see him again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is it? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Bitch be tripping. <laughs> He's making fun of me, and I'm like trying to keep my life together. What kind of people are you? You cheated. You cheated. What kind of people are we? You what cheated. Kind of people are we? Ashley, happy Valentine's Day, baby. <laughs> I hate you. Yeah, well, you Enjoy weren't listening anyway. You weren't, even, you weren't even a listener. Thank you, Ashley. Oh, she hung up. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, are you okay, buddy? <laughs> well, I, I, I don't know if I'm okay, but I'm glad that I know now. Yeah, no kidding. Well, you knew anyway. Just, you know. God, how long have you guys been living together? Uh, it's about three years, actually. Wow. Yeah. Well, dude, I'm sorry. And it it's all this way. come to an end. Uh, you know, what have we learned? You can't, uh, you can't trust any time a woman says that the guy is a friend. Because the guy certainly yeah. wants to make it more. You know, that. I've heard this before. An emotional friend. Chris, do you have any regrets? Do you feel, I mean, you're okay? You know, I'm going to be fine. No, right. no regrets. I just want to make I mean, sure. No, I'm, I'm glad that I know. To be honest, all. I was a little hesitant, man, because... Well, maybe you go to the next singles mingle with the Frico. <laughs> All right, Chris, uh, I, I hope you have a decent weekend, man. If I were you, I would just um, try to stay out of the house. Hang on, like, don't don't hang up because I want to yeah, get the phone number. Yeah, so we can check you back in. That's the one mistake we made before. Okay. All right, hey, uh, Chris, hang on, okay? Happy Valentine's Day, buddy. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch be tripping. Woody and Rizzuto.